What's up everyone? It is Yasmin Woodland, Yasmin TV, and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. If you so happen to be new here, please consider subscribing. I have a great community over here. Happy belated 4th to everyone. I hope everyone had a great and beautiful 4th of July. So you guys, this Keith Lee situation has been taking the internet by storm. I've been seeing a lot of what's been going on and you guys, it appears as though the internet is literally turning against Keith Lee. Now, if you all don't know, Keith Lee is a food critic and he's famously known for reviewing a lot of food on TikTok. And he actually blew up on TikTok. He has a mass following and his food reviews can literally make or break a restaurant's business because we have literally seen it play out to where he would review a restaurant that he didn't like too much and the restaurant would literally lose business and they would go to social media outing him. And it's really just been a complete just mess when it comes to the whole TikTok food review thing, okay? So fast forward to the BET Awards, him and his wife was invited there and there was some sort of mix up with the seating to where when Taraji P. Henson went to do like her entire speech and it was like a cute speech she was supposed to do and she was supposed to reference Keith Lee, and when she looked at the seating, it actually was not Keith Lee sitting there. And the entire, you know, people that were sitting there, they were just like, oh my gosh, that's not Keith Lee. What is she talking about? What is Taraji talking about? So the whole situation played out at the BET Awards. Keith Lee and his wife claimed that they felt disrespected. They felt like Taraji P. P. Henson was trying to be funny by, you know, getting his name mixed up with someone else sitting in that seat. Taraji P. Taraji P. Henson then took to social media and said, hey, I didn't know that there was some type of mix up with the seats. That's not how I rehearsed it. And Keith Lee also took to social media and he had he was given a rose and he just threw the rose on the ground. You guys like a lot of people did not like that because they felt like Taraji genuinely just got it mixed up and he was not supposed to switch seats. OK, like they were saying that Keith Lee was not su supposed to switch seats, but he did anyways. And it messed up the whole speech and everything uh, with Taraji P. Henson trying to shout him out. OK, so for him to throw the rose was kind of crazy, y'all. So what I'm going to do, all right, is play some of these TikToks, some of these clips for you guys so you guys can see for yourself. And then I'll be back with the rest of my commentary. Taraji P. Henson said Keith Lee wasn't in the right seat, so his little ego got hurt. She said life is really too short for this behavior. He wasn't in his seat, shrugs. They give celebrity assigned seats, exclamation mark. I rehearsed all damn day to go hit my mark and that young man wasn't in his seat so he missed his moment. His ego is hurt, he will be fine. I cleaned it up at the end of the show. No love lost over here, hashtag God bless. So just in case you missed it, at the BET Awards, Taraji P. Henson mixed up um, Jordan Howlett and Keith Lee. So she approached Jordan and said, oh, you the Method Man lookalike, but called him Keith Lee. And then put her hands together, you know, to do the 10 out of 10 segment thing or whatever. His wife directed her in the right direction when he said his name, then came over and apologized. You know, she was like, oh, da, da 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 She flirted with both of them, moved on. You know, in good jest, I figure, for the sake of the show. Keith Lee then uploads him um, dropping a rose that she gave him to the ground, talking about it's not for me, or whatever, whatever. Then he drops another video because everybody made a big deal out of the first video that he deleted. Um, so he just pretty much explained the situation. Last night was the BT Wars, and right now it's something on my mind. Let's talk about it. First and foremost, I want to start by saying I am not upset at Taraji P. Henson by any stretch of the imagination. And not only that, in my opinion, she smoked it last night. I don't think for one second Taraji had any ill will or any ill intentions behind the situation. The situation happened the way it did. It is what it is. I made a video last night where I had the rose that was given to me in my hand, and I let it fall on the floor. The reason I did this had nothing to do with Taraji P. Henson. The reason I dropped it on the floor is that I wholeheartedly believe that wasn't my rose. That wasn't my rose. That wasn't my moment. It was given to me, but it wasn't mine. And I always say, I don't want nothing that ain't mine. That one was meant for me, nothing less, nothing more. The entire segment on the production side felt extremely rushed. Not only did it feel rushed, it did not feel intentional. It did not feel purposeful. I'm forever thankful for every room that I'm in. I was more than thankful and more than grateful to just sit there and enjoy the show. Me and my wife, we looked amazing. We felt amazing. We was enjoying the show. I've always spoke about my social anxiety. And for me, just to get out and be in that moment was more than enough for me. So to take me and my wife out of our seats, put us in different seats, give Taraji no direction to who we are or what we do, felt extremely unprepared and unprofessional to me. I'm personally a fan of Taraji. I've been for years and I always will be. 
I love to see her get the recognition that she deserved in that moment and had a platform and a stage that she's always deserved for this situation to take away from her moment and our moment was unfair to both of us. And another example of this is a picture of my wife has been going around and it was a small part caught from an entire moment to make it seem like she had an attitude with Taraji. My wife and myself understand the flirting that Taraji was doing was fully improv and fully joke. It was a hard situation for all of us to be in. We fully understand she made it up on the fly. I was there to just enjoy the show. I was invited. No situations in life in general. I never longed for the spotlight. If I wanted the spotlight, I would have accepted a quarter of the opportunities that's been presented to us. But none of those opportunities were for me or my family. If you understand that, you understand it. If you don't, I'm okay with that. I'm always gonna be myself. I've always been myself. Nothing about this journey, about this ride, about where we at or where we gonna be is gonna change me. Never have and never will. Never once was I upset that Taraji didn't know who I was. Everything that's for me will be for me. Everything that's for my family will be for my family. Everything that's for you will be for you. When it's supposed to be, how it's supposed to be, with no confusion. I said that last night and that was still misconstrued and I stand on it a thousand percent. Whatever room I'm supposed to be in, whoever's supposed to know me, whenever they're supposed to know me, it will happen how it's supposed to happen. Last night, while I appreciate the opportunity, it wasn't my moment and that's okay. I'm cool with that. And for every single person that's been on this journey with me and that's still on this journey with me, I'm forever grateful. I appreciate y'all. I can't say it enough. God bless you. Have an amazing day. Y'all be safe. We all humans. We all make mistakes. It is what it is. I just wish they would have set both of us up for more success in that situation. That's it. God bless. Okay, so you guys saw those clips. Now, if that wasn't bad enough, the entire BET seating mix up with Taraji and him getting online and throwing the rose that was gifted to him wasn't bad enough. Then, <laughs> you guys, I cannot take people seriously. So Keith Lee is spotted like leaving, okay? And or someone that claims that they're a fan of him, they run up to him and they're just like, oh my gosh, it's DDG, it's DDG, it's DDG. And Keith Lee is like, bro, don't even play with me like that. Like, that's not even funny. Y'all, let me go ahead and play this clip because allegedly, you know, Keith Lee is like a registered, um, like he's an MMA fighter. His like fist, his hands are registered, you know, by law, when you are a fighter like that, when you reach a certain level, you have to register your hands as weapons. So, um, his security was like holding him back and stuff. And it's just a big deal. People are just like, why would you even play like that? Because his hands are registered. He's a dangerous man. Let me go ahead and play this clip and come back on the screen, y'all. God, I knew that was you, bro. DDG, bro. DDG, bro. DDG, bro. DDG, bro. DDG. Oh my God, I knew that was you, bro. DDG, bro. DDG, bro. DDG, bro. DDG, bro. DDG. Oh my God, I knew that was you, bro. DDG, bro. DDG, bro. DDG, bro. Now, since this video has surfaced of Keith Lee basically saying like, bro, don't do that to me, like back up, don't even play like that, don't do that to me, towards this quote unquote fan that's calling him DDG. By the way, you guys, DDG, if you all don't know, he is Hailey Bailey, or not Hailey, um, hey, what's her name? Haley Bailey's um, baby daddy or whatever. You know, the little mermaid, they just had their baby boy. They just posted pictures of their baby boy because she wasn't trying to have like a public um pregnancy and stuff like that which i'll get to them in another video because them two mm -mm, i got a lot to say about them but you guys that's who D that's ddg okay so the fan was cl clearly trying to be funny i'm not gonna lie they do look alike um this entire situation is really crazy so here's my like entire thoughts on this whole situation i do not feel like taraji intentionally meant any harm I genuinely feel like there was an entire seat mix up, whether Keith moved, his wife moved, or whether production told them to move. I genuinely do feel like Taraji just had a little bit of confusion there. Like, I don't feel like she did it, you know, on purpose or with like ill intention or malice or anything. And his wife did frown her face up and people were just saying like, um, you know, she kind of like looked like she kind of got an attitude, okay? When Taraji messed up, she frowned her face up and then she was kind of like gest gesturing towards like Keith Lee, like, hey, like this is my husband, Taraji. This is him right here. Not that man. This is my man. Like you're getting it mixed up type thing. Like she was trying to like gesture Taraji to, you know, direct her attention towards Keith Lee. And um, I feel like they definitely felt some type of way. They certainly felt some type of way because... To my knowledge, y'all, I thought the BET Awards, yes, it's black entertainment, but I thought it was geared towards people who are more like actors, actresses, musicians, artists, stuff like that. Um, so for him to even be invited there, um, 
is a blessing in itself and should be very humbling in itself right so i feel like uh they they missed their moment you know i do feel like keith missed his moment whether it was a seat mix up or not and i think he felt some type of way and he definitely showed that by going online and taking a rose that they had gifted him at the bet awards and throwing the rose to the ground like to me that's very disrespectful and maybe he felt disrespected by Taraji but that wasn't her intentions whether it was a mix up with her or not or production or not I don't think he needed to go to social media take a rose and throw it like I really feel like it made him look bad whether he felt like that was the right thing to do or not it made him look bad y'all and it made him look bad so much so to the point where people are actually saying cancel this man there's a lot of people who have turned against him every time i go in the instagram comments youtube comments tiktok comments i am seeing lots and lots of individuals literally going against keith lee and they don't like this man they do not like this man at all they used to be on this whole keith lee bandwagon and now they're not on this bandwagon anymore they're deaf they're like he has um an ego he has pride issues he has ego issues and he's this and he's that and he think he's above people and why is he even at the BET awards and all this other stuff so you got people who just they're not team Keith Lee anymore and then there's a lot of businesses who have lost business and lost money and lost customers due to his mass following and his influence on TikTok and if he gives them a bad rating a bad review or you know if something doesn't work out the way he wants it to he will literally leave them, you know, horrible reviews and then their business is literally tanking. And there's been so much controversy when it comes to his um, food reviews and stuff all over social media in certain cities. There's even certain cities that are like, hey, you're not welcome back here. We don't even want to see you in our city. We don't even see you. We don't want to see you at this mom and pop restaurant or this mom and pop shop because you've disrespected us. You know, you've caused us to lose money and revenue when we didn't do anything. You just got this issue or this ego issue with you and you feel like you have this power now to where you can make or break a restaurant and destroy us if we don't do exactly perfectly you know what you want us to do and i feel like a lot of people don't like that they don't like people being built up to this certain place right on social media having to clout the followings and the money to where they can just jump around and if one thing doesn't go their way they can just destroy their business and I feel like he has a lot to do with y'all. And then the whole fan walking up to him saying, oh, DDG this, DDG, DDG that. like, And then his rea him reacting to it was just absolutely the wrong thing to do. He shouldn't even have said anything. I personally feel like Keith Lee was definitely embarrassed because he probably felt like he was going to get A-list celebrity treatment at the BET Awards. And he really didn't get that. I mean, you know, they, mi they mixed up the seating. Taraji messed up. And he was embarrassed, you guys. All his fans were embarrassed. He was embarrassed. His wife was embarrassed. And he didn't have his moment. But now I feel like because he took the rose and threw it on camera, then he deleted the video and then followed it up by this, you know, this video here on TikTok. I don't think next year he's going to be invited. And even if he is invited, hopefully they were able to hash out their differences and just, you know, set, set it aside and move along and move forward. But you guys, I personally feel like his reaction wasn't really the best reaction. And that happens we're all humans and um the entire controversy surrounding keith lee is crazy this is my first time even speaking on him and um personally i just hope he stays safe with his entire food reviews i hope that he treads lightly when it comes to go going back to certain cities to do food reviews because he's not well liked you guys not anymore like i said social media is turning against his man and his family for a lot of the stuff that he's doing and um his popularity seems to be dwindling at this point and people are no longer riding this entire keith lee train or whatever like that because they're feeling like his true colors are coming out you know him t telling the fan like don't do that back up off me and all this stuff people just don't like that people feel like his true colors are coming out because he's getting the money the clout the fame and everything else a lot of people also feel like he's not really into his wife like that he portrays the family man and the kids and he portrays that he's happy and all that people are literally saying it's just for an image and even if, if it is for an image y'all it wouldn't even surprise me how many men do that how many men step in the industry and you know they get a wife and kids and all this stuff to you know have this image of being a family man not saying that he trust he doesn't truly love his wife maybe maybe he does i mean i don't know but i'm just saying a lot of people are outing him saying like he's not really even a family man he's just having this you know black woman by his side just to make him have a certain image when really you know behind the scenes he could care less 
you know, and we've seen that time and time again. And um, that's why it's not good to idolize people. It's not good to idolize couples, couples goals and all this other stuff, because y'all, we don't know what goes on behind the scenes. OK, so that is truly my thoughts on the entire Taraji P. Henson, BET Awards drama, her getting it mixed up, him throwing the rose, you know, him being offended, his wife being offended. She should have definitely kept her composure as a wife, ma'am. You should have kept your composure and not frowned your face up. Y'all, you just made it look bad. You made it look even more. You made it look ghetto. You know what I'm saying? You could have just kept it cute and just, oh, it's a mistake or whatever. They both could have kept it cute. And then also Taraji, maybe before she even did her segment, maybe she should have just ran through production and said, hey, has there been any changes or whatever, y'all? Y'all know? So that's my thoughts on the whole Keith Lee situation. People are literally just saying hashtag cancel Keith Lee. What do you guys think about this whole situation? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more content from Yasmin Woodland, Yasmin TV. Until next time, I'll see you guys in my other video. See ya.